Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show. So we have a we have a confrontation, a shooting, a dead black seventeen year old. No rest for how many days? Was it months? Not no days, months. For, no no arrests. Months? months. How how long before they arrested George Zimmerman? It was months. Months? Yes. Okay, months. 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 So there was uh, there was outrage. There was no arrest, right? So he gets arrested and gets charged by the state of Florida, correct? Yes. Murder two? Yes. He goes to trial and, and is acquitted of murder two manslaughter, and they tried to throw a murder three, but they threw that out. Correct. Right? Yes. Okay, so that's the timeline, right? Yes. So that's not injustice. That's justice. That's, that's a jury verdict. Country, <laughs> it's right? it's a jury okay. verdict. And there's no, and now, now everyone was crying about racism because no one was arrested, but then someone was arrested and charged. So racism is no longer a part of the case. Well, you know, it's, it's an interesting point. Well, hold well, on. It's it's, an hold on. Let point. Me well, no, hang it's on a second, hand, because, it's, 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 uh, wait, hand, Neil, 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 hang on, hang on. You can make the argument that the fact that there was a trial is justice, and the fact that a jury verdict came in, well, that's just the nature of the legal system. Go ahead, justice. please. And racism racism's taken out of it at that level at the Florida State Court, the, 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 that level in the Florida State Court. That right? is willful ignorance. You're saying that a jury is not racist? You, that the system that the jury is living in is not a Are racist system? Are you saying system? it is? I'm saying it's certainly possible, and a lot of people perceive that it, it that way. I'm saying that well, it was fine. to the Florida State's attorney. They press charges, correct? You're telling me that, there the, that there's a That's zone of color one blindness? Too. Neil, uh, there's, a, hey, other... there's a zone. Look, dude, please don't try and filibuster me. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I mean, I'll give you more time, but look, don't just keep talking fast because you think I'm not going to jump in. We're trying to have a conversation. Let's have a little decorum here. Now, Neil, you're trying to tell me that this, there's this little zone of race-free perceptions in that courtroom in Florida? It's not real. Go ahead. It's not real. It's not. But if he's convicted, People bring their no own racism. views in. If, if Hold on. If he's convicted, is there no racism? Ah, and a lot of people would say it was racism. That If, if, he, was if, he, if he was convicted, yes, a lot of white people would say he was convicted by because he shot a black kid and there was a big kerfuffle about it, a big hubbub. Oh, I thought maybe it was racism because he was Mexican. Well, I don't know. It depends. Uh, he has variously described himself as white and Hispanic because, right, but, like the president, uh, he happens to be two things at once. Right, but the trial's over, and he wasn't convicted. That's our justice system, is it not? It is. Okay, and so I respect the, the jury what verdict. The point, what is the point of fanning the flames of racism? That already happened, and there was arrest, but that's not enough now. He's well, a convict, uh, uh, an acquittal. That's not good enough. Wh- why are you using th- that phrase, "fanning the flames of racism"? Are you saying I'm fanning the flames of racism? That the family? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you're yeah. wrong. You, th- the fact, look. If if there's an armadillo, Race has nothing to do with this case. Oh, you, after come he was arrested, on. once he was That's arrested, that's your perception. Everybody, everybody, the outcry was because he was a black youth. No one got arrested. Then he got arrested, charged, and went to trial. Racism went out once he was arrested. Neil, because if if your argument was that he didn't get arrested because he was a black kid, he got arrested. True or false? You strongly believe everything you've just said to me. True or false? You strongly much, yeah. believe everything you said to me just now. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that would, you no because, because would you acknowledge? Would you acknowledge, Neil? Please. Race. Would you acknowledge that other people just as strongly see things exactly the opposite at you as you? True or false? And they're just as legitimate as you. True or false? Fine for me to express my opinion. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't help now. The, the, this, it, the verdict is in. So and you no say you say we should and, just and trying to turn into okay. it's it's being turned into a racial issue. Trying now. to use this as a teachable moment. Trying to use this to get what's people. What's being taught? What's being taught? Maybe put the damn guns down. Maybe these ridiculous stand your ground laws are encouraging people to act like Gary Cooper in High but Noon. That's not what the jury said, did they? The so jury wasn't case, presented with a political case, question no, of the case, wisdom of the stand your ground laws. I'm sure there's a lot of other cases where that's a fact and it's and it's gone that way. But in this case, the jury didn't see it that way. No, you're and in that sense, you're also you're almost Neil. Calling the now you now on you that, on the on the on the panel. No, now you're going into polemics. Right. Now you're going. Now you're turning this jury trial into a political question of the wisdom of the stand your ground laws. 
I'm saying that this. No, I'm not. Look at dude. If I if I see an armadillo in the middle of the road, and I say, "Hey, Neil, there's an armadillo in the middle of the road," and you say to me, "Norm, you just hate armadillos." I'm like, dude, this is what I'm perceiving. I see an armadillo, and it's in the middle of the road. And you say, "Well, why do you hate armadillos?" I don't hate armadillos. I'm just telling you, I see an armadillo in the middle of the road. Neil, I'm telling you that I see a nation that is still a racist society that's got major problems with race. I that, still see but, neighbor. But, so why, why is it? Why, wait, why where is, is all the voter why? suppression against white people? Why is all the voter suppression always against minorities? Where's the so, voter so, suppression so, against so, white so, people? So you're, okay, I just want to make sure, and then I'll hang up. I just want to make sure. So your so your unhappiness or your d- decision. Your unhappiness with the decision is the racism involved in this decision, not the actual decision in, but of itself that you said you talk about how you go to court with the facts and the truth and justice comes out and prevails. So I believe injustice here, was done in this case. I court. believe a manslaughter case was proven. And, and, well, Neil hung up on me. There you go. Neil, thanks very much for the call. I believe a manslaughter case was proven. I have a First Amendment right to speak, and I certainly have a freedom and liberty right to disagree with the jury verdict. And I have a First Amendment and freedom and liberty right to come on these airways and say, I think the jury was wrong. Does that mean I'm going to demand the jury verdict be overturned and we retry the guy? Of course not. I respect the jury verdict. But you, you seem to have this authoritarian view of, I must simply now shut up and obey. And not say another word because that's it. I mean, where is that written? And the answer is it's written nowhere. This is America. We have a right to our opinions, and you've expressed yours. You did it in a very rude way, but you did it anyway, and I expressed mine. But the bottom line of the thing is, let me use a a kind of a gross example. If a person has a pimple, a teenager has a pimple, and we're all teenagers and we all had pimples, right? So are you going to sit there and say, oh, you got a pimple? Or are you going to say, you know, maybe you got oily skin. Maybe the conditions underlying your pimple exist to create not just one, but maybe there's another, and maybe you should get some treatment for it, and maybe, you know, you're embarrassed by it. What I'm suggesting to you is that the Trayvon Martin case, this is an example. It's a pimple, and I'm looking underneath, and I'm saying, you know, the conditions exist to have this happen all over the, all over the nation, and it happens all over the nation. And what I really find to be a disgrace is all of the black on black crimes that nobody seems to care about. We've got we've got shootings. Let's talk about Chicago. Right. Chicago in all of the poor neighborhoods, the black neighborhoods in Chicago, there is black on black crime and black on black shootings. And nobody ever talks about it. The moment some little white kid is hurt. Oh, it's a terrible national thing. Let's get an Amber Alert. This nation has a problem with skin color. It always has. And we haven't worked it out yet. And that's what I see. And you can tell me all the names and disagree with me all you want. That is your right. But I'm telling you, this is what I see. And just because you may not see it the same way doesn't mean that your perception must rule over everybody else's perception. We're all entitled to our viewpoints, and there's plenty of evidence to support my point of view. Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show.